Some of you might have been a bit surprised to hear the severe weather siren sound this afternoon and evening. Uh, no need to worry, it was just a drill. It's all part of Severe Weather Awareness Week to get us thinking about what to do when bad weather hits. And for many, they rely on these sirens as their first early warning system. So how are the sirens set off? Good question. Heather Brown went inside the Hennepin County Emergency Management Headquarters to find out. 1 p.m. The first Wednesday of every month. Minnesotans know the drill. And visitors quickly learn. Hang on a second. I just need to make sure you're okay. It's three minutes total. The first is the steady alert tone for severe weather. The second, a minute of silence. And the third, a rising and falling attack tone. Do we ever use that anymore, that tone? If, if we ever use that for real, it would, it would be Very bad. pretty bad. Like a missile attack, which is actually why this first Wednesday of the month drill started. That's a tradition that goes uh, even earlier than my career, and I'm kind of old. It began in the Cold War, but in the 60s, Minnesota sirens transitioned to severe weather, first being used in the deadly 1965 tornadoes. The funnel touched down at the Fridley Junior High School. In much of Minnesota, the cities own and maintain the sirens, and the county sets them off. In Hennepin, it's automatic during a tornado warning. We only sound them for tornado warnings, not severe thunderstorm warnings. Otherwise, they manually sound the sirens, working alongside the National Weather Service and Hennepin County's own meteorologist. We also sound them for straight line winds. We sounded very unusually uh, a few years ago for uh, extremely large hail because it's all about life safety, not property damage. Technology helps Hennepin County better pinpoint where to alert. See the tornado polygon? Especially off to the east. The sirens will go off in every city that touches that area. Better than it used to be, though. It used to have to set everyone off in the county. A lot of counties still are countywide activated. So who actually sets the sirens off? That guy right there. <laughs> Hennepin County Emergency Management testing the public warning sirens at 1300. So it's 1259, yeah. 57, 58, 59. Boom. So I. Select all the sirens in the county. We watch Dan Anderson. I go to activate. Set off the monthly drill and test. And it asks me, do I want to sound the sirens? Are you yeah, sure? Are you mm -hmm. sure? And we hit yes. And that's it. About 15 seconds later, it's on. And some siren fails. <laughs> Attention. Siren failure. Roll in. Eight among 292 sirens in the county. Winter isn't always kind to siren batteries. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they're a fail. Mm -hmm. uh, this is basically something that tells us this is kind of a red flag. We need to check it out. He says if there's a problem, the cities usually fix them within a few days to be ready for when we really need them. What do you want people to think about when these sirens go off? There's uh, a very specific action. Heather Brown. Find shelter mm -hmm. inside. WCCO 4 News. And the head of emergency management hopes that we use these drills to think about our emergency plan, a phone list, and an emergency kit, all in case severe weather impacts our families. If you have a good question for Heather, just email her through wcco.com links.